For the majority of us, the moment we became adults, the moment we entered our 20s, we discovered that we had to do a lot of things for ourselves. We're no longer children. Most of us were just starting our careers. Most of us were moving out of our parents' houses. Most of us were you know, beginning to take responsibilities for our lives. And we spent the majority of our 20s trying to make sense of life. We were trying to make headway in our chosen careers, our jobs, our marriages, our relationships. And we carry this on into our 30s. A lot of us have not really had time to sit down and reevaluate our lives and see what is working for us and what is not working for us. Things we need to incorporate and things we need to let go of. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some of the things that you need to start doing in your 30s if you're not already doing them, okay? Things that Typically, ideally, we should have started doing them in our 20s, but many of us had so many responsibilities, many of us we are so confused and overwhelmed that we did not really incorporate these things into our lives. So now that we are in our 30s and you know life has become a little bit more stable for some of us, these are the things that you need to take note of in your 30s to help you live a more fulfilled life. So like I said, in our 30s, a lot of us have already gotten a hang of things. If you haven't, it's okay, you are not alone. But just know that it is never too late to start. You can always start over. It is never too late to change the course of your life. And that brings me to my first point, which is get your finances in order. Yes, even if you have been, you know, playing in your 20s and you have been spending anyhow and not just taking note of your finances, many of us are trying to build a career as well. So we are really taking note of how we, you know, we are managing our funds at that time. Okay, so when you're in your 30s, it is actually a very good time for you to start to manage your finances. You need to start having concrete investments. You need to have savings. You need to put away emergency funds. You need to have specific funds for specific lifestyle needs. Needs, okay so things like travel things like enjoyment money money for projects money for our retirement your 30s is actually a very good time for you to take note of these things and related to this my second point is that you need to have another source of income it is very important the way the world economy is going now it's very difficult for many people to survive and thrive and live well on you know just one source of income yeah property level has really risen inflation has risen so you need multiple sources of income to live a very good life which is the goal of many of us and that brings me to the sponsor of today's video today's video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with lots i mean thousands of inspiring and creative classes made just for you your 30s is a good time to learn a lot and skillshare is a place where you can learn lots of new skills to help you with your personal growth, your business growth, you know, to start a new side hustle, to help hone your skills that you already have in your job, or just to pick up a new hobby. You want to learn something about a new hobby. I have become so interested in photography, not just for the fun of it, but you know, to take it seriously. Because of this on Skillshare, I attended the photography masterclass by Phil Webner, where they give you all the basics about photography. You guys, I've been handling the camera for quite a while now, for like five or six years, but there are so many things I did not even know that I could use my camera for. There are so many settings on my camera that I didn't even know that I could use. And attending this masterclass, I have been so mind blown. I have acquired so much knowledge about how to take pictures, how to photograph moving objects, kids, especially for my kids, because I want to really learn how to photograph my kids you know very well i have learned so many new tips and tricks and skills i also took classes from mkhbd if you guys know him marcus brownlee he's one of my favorite creators on the youtube platform he has a class on skillshare which is called youtube success how to script shoot and edit with mkhbd you guys the class is so transformative i learned a lot about you know how to script videos for youtube he showed us basically everything on how he scripts his videos how he you know edits his videos and how he shoots his videos mind blown guys the skillshare platform is actually very easy to use very easy to navigate and the classes are broken down into short short lessons which is easy to follow if you have a very short attention span it's very easy to follow classes because you know they are very very short and very very precise and another good thing is that even when i have left the class for a while i get reminders via email you know to go and continue the classes it's so interesting you guys go and check it out the first 1000 of my viewers to sign up using my link in the description 
subscription will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Do you know how much you can achieve in one month taking classes upon classes? You also have places where you can do practice lessons, where you can also submit, you know, the projects you have worked on in the description box below the link is going to be there for you to start and to get one month free and so that you can explore your creativity okay so back to my point on things you need to start doing in your 30s my third point is this explore new hobbies actively explore new hobbies okay i can't tell you how much how fulfilled and how happy I am to be exploring new hobbies. I want to take painting classes. I'm also going to be using Skillshare for that. But I've already started painting. I already bought some of my things for painting. I want to start taking painting classes. I'm already doing photography. I've been taking all kinds of pictures. You know, I want things that I do that are just for the fun of it. Not to try and make money. Not to try and, you know, achieve any certain thing in my life. I just want hobbies that, you know, make my life more interesting. Because if you're not careful, like I said about, you know, being buried into work and trying to establish things and make money. If you're not careful, you're going to live a very empty life life because you don't have any hobbies you don't have any things that you're doing aside just your job and you know taking care of your family and stuff like that that's if you have a family if you're married and you have kids and stuff like that if you're not careful you're going to be sucked into just your job and just having a very boring life so please try and find a new hobby it can be watching movies and reviewing them it can be painting like i said like i said i'm going to be taking up it can be whatever it is that you know makes you happier but just doesn't really serve a particular purpose do you understand just try and actively pursue a hobby if it means playing games on the weekends as you know outdoor games on the weekends running you know um badminton table tennis whatever it is that you know it's a hobby for you try and explore those hobbies don't forget yourself don't forget to have fun in your 30s because yeah you are going to get older you're going to get weaker it is inevitable if you are even alive it's inevitable for you to get weaker and older so just in your 30s is a good time you are actually still young you're actually still vibrant that's a good time to explore hobbies and who knows this your hobbies might even turn into money making machines at some points like youtube was a hobby for me and right now i'm making money from it okay so even though the purpose is not to make money eventually just try and have a, a hobby it makes you a better person now the next one is to pay attention to your health yes when you're in your 20s you're eating anyhow you're doing anyhow you're drinking you're smoking you're having fun you're partying all night you're you're sleeping two hours a day you are running on basically caffeine coffee and power, um what do they call it um power drinks what do they call them <laughs> those power drinks i've got what they call them anyway in your 20s you can run on all of that and you know enjoy your life it's fine but in your 30s you need to slow down you need to think about the impact of some of these things on your health long term like i told you you're in your 30s you are still young but you're growing older you're no longer 15 you're no longer 20 you're actually growing older so please pay attention to your health as a woman always go even as a man okay go for checkups go for routine checkups ask your doctors what routine checkups you need to do as a woman as a man in your 30s okay pap smear breast exam mammograms um you know hormonal profile you know general tests try and get these things done in your 30s as soon as possible um also try and eat healthy exercise okay uh, yeah i i know all these things i don't actually do some of them some of these things i actually struggle with them as well so don't just think that i'm coming here to tell you to tell you you must do this while wow, you know i'm perfect i'm not perfect okay but these are things i try to remind myself to do now so working out eating healthy uh, you, don't, you don't have to have a very strict diet but just try and eat as healthy as possible please pay attention to your health okay another thing you need to start taking in your 30s is supplements don't feel like oh am i old why am i taking routine drugs and that you need to start taking your supplements as early as possible if you're watching this and you are in your 20s then start immediately but if you're in your 30s then you definitely have to start immediately okay start taking your supplements start taking you know as a woman you need so many things you can either take you know the supplements that come in a pack that is just one tablet that has everything you need or you can research different supplements vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d um you know vitamin e all those a b c d e you know um zinc and you know stuff like that start researching them there are specific 
uses in your you know system in your body and then start taking your supplements today start today start now as i'm watching this video write it down go to the pharmacy and go and get your supplements trust me it is very important you don't want to wake up tomorrow with one health issue or feeling weak and, and you'll be wondering what's happening most times we feel that way most times we even look older than our age because we are not taking care of ourselves so please go and get your supplements today the next one is to take your skincare seriously how i wish i had taken my skincare seriously in my 20s but it is not too late okay a lot of us in our 20s we could get away with doing the absolute nonsense okay <laughs> sleeping with your makeup using all kinds of products on your face rubbing oils and body creams and stuff like that on your face a lot of us could get away with it in our 20s but the moment you entered your 30s you started to see some wrinkles some spots some darkness some hyperpigmentation some you know unwanted you know issues with your skin so it is very important for you to take your skincare seriously okay and going back to my point about you know taking supplements you also need to take supplements that help your skin and your nails and your hair okay so collagen supplements they have packs of supplements that are actually made for those things then your skincare hydration moisturization these are very very important things you need to have in your skincare product i mean in your skincare products yeah you need to have skincare products that are very hydrating you need to have skincare products that are moisturizing that is products that actually help trap in the hydration the moisture okay you need to have these things you need to have your ahas your bhas to help with your skin renewal all these things are very important trust me you don't want to wake up one morning and ask yourself how old am i like or people be asking you people be thinking you're in your 40s or your 50s when you're just 31 like you don't want to have that happen to you so take your skincare seriously your body care okay body skincare that is you know the kind of bath soaps you use the kind of body creams you use i personally use more of oils and butters on top of my lotions okay and i don't bleach do not bleach if you don't want to be looking old and haggard and you know have skin issues do not bleach it doesn't matter how dark skinned you are do not bleach it doesn't matter how how much hyperpigmentation you have do not bleach they are actually very safe products to help address these issues and for me hyperpigmentation is not really a problem for me because i'm african for crying out loud okay you are going to have dark under her arms dark thighs dark you know neck and stuff like that it is quite normal for those of us who are africans okay so just try as much as possible to use safe products on these things and if they don't go completely don't kill yourself okay just always make sure you have sunscreen sunscreen is very very important if you don't have any other thing in your skincare uh, um, cabinet make sure you have your sunscreen at all times okay if you can if you can reapply try and reapply but personally i don't reapply okay if you can reapply try and reapply and always try and avoid sun sun as much as possible yes your sun exposure all these things are very important trust me on this okay so remember my first point about keeping some funds for travel yes please in your 30s try and travel more it is something i am actively working on i want to have at least three trips a year okay i'm a mom i have kids i have a husband so one trip is going to be with the whole family one trip is just me and my girls and then another trip is either me alone or me and my husband or me and one girlfriend one thing about travel is that travel exposes you to new experiences to new mindset new cultures new way of life new ways ways that people live it broadens your outlook to life it improves your personality it improves your interpersonal skills it imp improves your communication skills as well because yeah so you guys just think about it try and save money i know it's not easy for most people okay but travel is very important it doesn't even have to be outside the country it can be inside the country it can be to a neighboring town a neighboring village it can be across country you know but just try and travel leave your house okay leave your house and go and see how other people are living one thing that you know fascinates me anytime i travel outside the country especially or to a new location entirely that is different from what i'm used to one thing that fascinates me a lot is how people live entirely different lives from me and are thriving they are flourishing and they in fact my own type of life or my own way of life has no bearing on their ways of life okay it helps to become less judgmental because some of us stay in our little corner of the earth and we feel like we know it all we feel like if things are not done the way you do them then things are going to spoil or go you know haywire it's not true go to other civilizations and you'll see people living 
an entirely different life from yours they eat entirely different things they do entirely different things and they're still healthy they're still happy they're still flourishing they don't even know about you like they don't even know about you okay and they're very happy so try you can okay you can trust me you can even if you mean leaving your city to the next city or leaving your house to the next just try and leave your house and your environment okay so now the last but not the least is to get grounded be more grounded in your convictions be more grounded in the way you are doing things in your personality in who you are understand your person be more self-aware be more grounded in your values okay things that things that are important to you try and be more grounded in them i don't know how how best to explain this so for instance you believe in god you're a christian then try and be more grounded in christianity try and be more grounded in you know the word of god the bible if you're a muslim whatever it is you believe in try and be more grounded because i don't know about you but whenever i see people who are not really grounded in anything they are easily just tossed to, to and fro you can't really hold on to any values that they have if someone comes and tells them do this they will do it if someone tells them go there they will go there like they always follow this what the society says what you know the internet says you 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 have it you actually have a sense of who people are when you pay attention to what they do and what they say okay a lot of people in their 30s even in their 40s are not grounded they don't have true convictions they don't have you can't i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining this but maybe i'll make a whole video about it so i can script this better okay be more grounded you don't have to be tossed everywhere just by anything anything on social media you want any cause you see you want to just join it you don't have any convictions about okay this is wrong or this is right or I, I don't want to do this because it's not my thing it's not my person you don't even know yourself so you know you're just you're just all over the place you're just everywhere for me it's not a good look on you especially if you are in your 30s i mean that's why they say somebody's an agbaya somebody is, is, is old for nothing it's things like that that make people question your maturity okay yes it's all about maturity being able to say no to certain things okay shows that you have values you have something that you actually believe in so if i don't want to smoke for instance it's because i have values i know why i don't want to smoke and i am convinced i don't want to smoke so nobody can come and convince me to smoke do you understand that yeah have convictions have things that you can't do so people say things like uh you don't know what you do in certain situations no personally i know things that i will never do i might not know the extent to which i will do what i know that i will do you guys i, I hope you're following i don't know the extent to which i will do what i know that i will do but there are Things that i know that i will never do under any circumstance okay so i feel like it is something that is worth doing is what emulating it is what having conviction so that you will live a happier life okay you're not just miserable i feel like many people are miserable because they don't really have convictions they don't know why they are doing what they are doing or why they are not doing what they are doing no so it's, it's not a good look i'll talk more about it in a different video okay let's be not be too long but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you learned a thing or two let me know in the comment section things that you need to add you know if you have things to add let me know in the comment section remember this video is sponsored by skillshare and the link is in the description box for you to sign up so the first 1000 people to sign up are going to get one month free of skillshare just run and go and, and go and grab it because in one month you can learn a lot. And I say a lot, I mean a lot and you can actually improve your life a lot in one month, okay? Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.